So the aim of the experiment uh, to measure the unknown value of capacitance by using shearing bridge. So today experiment, I am going to explain you about shearing bridge. So basically, uh, two bridges are required to measure the value of uh, capacitance. That uh, in in our laboratory, we are using mic mica capacitor, electrolytic capacitor. There are various type of capacitor we are using. So in order to measure the value of that capacitance, what is the value of capacitance? Uh, we are we require shearing bridge. So there are two types of bridges to measure capacitance. One is shearing bridge, another one is D surface bridge. But in case of our practical lab, we will study about shearing bridge only. So basic advantage of shearing bridge over D surface bridge is it not only measure the value of capacitance but also it measures the insulating property. The losses uh, occurs inside the dielectrics that also measured by this shearing bridge. So that is the basic advantage of shearing bridge over D surface bridge. So what are the equipment required in order to measure the capacitance value by using shearing bridge? So first is your uh, shearing bridge uh, kit, trainer kit. The second is your cathode ray oscilloscope. Then we have a decayed uh, capacitance box that is your capacitor. Then we uh, require digital multimeter in order to measure the value of resistances or any other voltages. Then we have set of patching wires as per our requirement. Now see the theoretical circuit diagram. Here I have drawn the theoretical circuit diagram for your shearing bridge. So uh, uh, as I have explained earlier, this is uh, this shearing bridge also a AC bridge. Only your uh, uh, western bridge is uh, a DC bridge. Uh, other any other bridges uh, is your AC bridge. And each bridge consists of four arms. Each bridge consists of four arms. So if I consider this arm number one. It consists R1 parallel with C1. Here the capacitor you can see here the capacitor here uses variable capacitor. We are not going to measure this by value of this capacitance. We are going to measure the value of fixed capacitor. So R1 C1 is parallel. Then the second arm consists of R2. This is, this is also a variable resistor. Why we are using variable resistor? In order to make the adjustment so that this uh, so that through this detector a zero current will flow. And at, at that point, the bridge is balanced. At that point, the bridge is balanced. So R2 is your variable capacitor, variable resistor. So we have a fixed resistor here in the third arm, that is your R3. And the unknown capacitance value we are going to measure, that is your Cx. This this is your fixed capacitance, and we are going to measure this capacitance value. And always the resistance is connected. So you can ask me why is our resistance connected? Resistor is connected because any practical capacitor is always represented by is a resistor series with the virtual capacitor and that resistance value indicates the losses occurs in a capacitor. That's the losses occurs in a capacitor. So that is denoted by Rx, but we are going to measure this Cx value. This Cx is your unknown capacitance that we are going to measure by using this series. Series. So when we measure this Cx value? When the detector uh, zero deflection occurs across the detector, this is your uh, detector. We can uh, uh, use this uh, tuned detector in case of AC bridges, galvanometer in case of your DC bridges. So detector the zero current flow. That means this is your balanced condition. But in case uh, in your particular trainer kit, we will measure this balanced condition by using a loudspeaker. When the minimum sound comes through the loudspeaker, that is the balanced condition for the bridge. So let us see the practical trainer kit. So see the uh, trainer kit for your shearing bridge. So we are going to use this trainer kit in order to find the uh, unknown capacitance value, which you, which I am going to connect here in here indicated as Cx. So first I need a power supply. So so DC power supply which I have given here is 15 volt, and here we have an oscillator for giving your AC input. Uh, then we have a imbalance amplifier because amplifier is required to increase the strength of the signal so that it can drive the loudspeaker here the balance condition is achieved only uh, when the loudspeaker the sounds come out comes out from the loudspeaker is minimum so for that purpose first we will see the circuit diagram the first arm here you can see here it, this is the fixed capacitor and the value is fixed here 0.1 microfarad then we have a uh, resistance value 500 ohm and we have a variable capacitor 100 picofarad to 1 kilo picofarad 
then this bridge bd this arm consists of number of multi uh, multiple resistors uh, this uh, why this consists multiple resistors in order to find the minimum balance condition that is uh, when the detector will uh, show zero deflection and when the here in uh, in your trainer kit the loudspeaker will have minimum sound so for that purpose we need a variable uh, resistance or min, uh, number of resistance so that we can change and find wh when the bridge is balanced and that balance condition we can apply your law uh, that is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 so here i i, I am going to use this capacitance i am going to uh, measure this capacitance value here so this capacitance is connected here this is your unknown capacitance which i have not known i am going to measure the value of this unknown capacitance then see this wiring diagram so uh, i am going to connect the uh, wire as per this diagram only so first we will see from the output of the transformer we will apply input to the bridge then we have the open circuit here present that i will shut it down then we have b to b then we have one output from the your amplifier to input to the loudspeaker then then we have from your bridge to c point now i am going to use the value of this so first i will connect with the 100 ohm so you can hear here the sound comes out is very high that's why i am changing the resistance value in 1 kilo ohm also the sound is very high so if i put this also in 100 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm also is very high so while i am choosing the resistance of this arm is 1 mega ohm we can hear the loudspeaker sound is very low and this is the balance condition for the bridge so now i can apply the equation for finding the uh, value of the capacitance and and this is your z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 so while solving you will find that the value of the capacitance cx is equal to c3 r1 by r2 so one thing we can observe here this is frequency independent frequency of the supply independent because this is ac bridge ac means we have a frequency so frequency independent so that means uh, if this resistance value are fixed then we can got the fixed value of the capacitance so this capacitance value is independent of frequency so now i am going to apply the value of the value of c3 is 0 0.1 microfarad that is 0 0.1 in 10 to the power minus 6 into r1 value which i have selected here that is your 500 ohm that is your 500 ohm divided by r2 value is 10 to the power 6 so uh, this 10 to the power 6 and uh, here 5 into 10 to the power 2 so this can be written 10 to the power minus 7 into 5 divided by 10 to the power 4 so that means 5 into 10 to the power minus 11 so that is equal to uh, that that means we can uh, find this is 5 into the minus 11 faraday or uh, your uh, nano uh, pico so that is 50 pico faraday pico means 10 to the power minus 12 so here i am multiplying 10 and dividing 10 so 5 by 10 multiplying with 5 with 10 and divide with here with the 10 that means it is, this is 10 to the power minus 12 why i am writing 10 to the power minus 12 because we know 10 to the power minus 12 is pico so this is 50 into 10 to the power minus 12 faraday or 50 pico faraday so that's it so th this is the way to find the value of the searing bridge find the value of the unknown capacitance so unknown capacitance value is your 50 picofarad so thank you